Tim Brown. Welcome to My Apple Podcast, the podcast that offers a personal insight into everything Apple. For this episode, I'm going to focus on a panoply of panoramas for the iPhone. The first application is 360 Panorama by Occipital. CNET says, Instant Awesome Panoramas. And it goes for 99 cents in the App Store. Okay, and this is what it looks like when you first open the application. You see here there's a black background with a white grid. And the image in the center is your is going to be your first shot. So you press the camera button on the right, and you notice that as you move from left to right, the image automatically fills in, almost as if it's being painted on. You're not really having to align anything necessarily. The grid does work as a framework or a guide. But for the most part, you're just gradually moving from left to right. But you can also move from top to bottom as well. You can get as much of the panorama as you want just by moving the camera around. And that's what it looks like when you're done. And you have an instant panorama. Another application, Auto Stitch by Cloudburst Research. Auto Stitch raises the bar on panoramas, according to TUAW. It's going for $1.99 in the App Store, so it's a dollar more. Okay, here's what the application looks like when you first open it. I'm going to go ahead and choose camera and start creating our panorama. You notice there are no guides or nothing to follow. You just begin by clicking the camera and slowly moving from left to right, and it deposits an image in the bottom right corner. And you can selectively choose when you want to take your next shot. So I just took another one and it deposited that one in the bottom right corner as well. And I'm going to move slowly to the right again. Okay, that's good enough. Take another shot and so forth and so on. And that's how you will proceed until you are finished your panorama. I just took three shots here. And this is showing you how the images come together. This is actually the best part. This is a beautiful animation of how the image comes together in this grid like fashion. Really kind of nice. And that's Auto Stitch. Another application, Photosynth by the Microsoft Corporation. This is another beautiful application. It's the number two iPhone app in 2011, according to TechCrunch. Yes, that's right, the app is free. And this is what it looks like. So when you first open it, you tap to start and immediately it creates your first shot and the subsequent image is framed by a green frame with a dot in the center when that dot aligns with the right edge of the previous photo it stitches it together and you notice that right photo has a dotted line to let you know that it's still in the process of being stitched and again once that green dot lines up with the the jagged line or dotted line, it will then stitch that image with the previous one. And you can also do that from top to bottom as well as left to right. Press the camera app when you're done and then it begins to stitch the image. And there you go. And finally, my last application is not a photo panorama app, but actually a video one. It's called Video Panel 360 by GoToShare. And it's 99 cents in the App Store. This application is a little different. Okay, so here's the bit, the screen you get when you first open. You hit Take New Shot or New Scene or New Panorama. And again, no background, no gridded lines, nothing to really follow because you're just recording the scene before you. As if you were taking a video shot. So here I'm just taking a video recording of the same location and when you stop it then takes that video and converts it to a photo or in this case a panorama so it takes a while to load but when it's done voila you have a panorama it's really that simple you save it to your library and it then prompts you to start a new one 
And this is what the video panel image actually looks like. This is on my Facebook page. Well, that's it. Thanks again for tuning into my Apple podcast. This is Tim Brown. I'll see you next time.